Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about using external style sheets in CSS. External style sheets are .css files where we can write all of the CSS for our web pages, and then we can take those .css files and we can import them into our HTML files, and the HTML files will be able to use all of the CSS that's stored inside of those external files. One of the benefits of doing things like this is that multiple HTML files can import the same CSS file at the same time. Up until this point in this course, we've been using two main styles to style the elements on our website. The first is inline styling. And inline styling is just where you take an HTML tag and you throw this style keyword in here and then we just define all of the CSS that we want that style to have. You can also define style tags up here in the head of your website. So inside these style tags, I can write basic CSS. I can specify styling for the body so we can color it blue, or I can color the header ones on the website green. And you can see all of that styling is reflected over here on the website. But there's actually a third way that we can implement our CSS inside of these HTML files, and it's by creating a separate external .css style sheet. So I'm gonna head over here into my folder, and you can see I have just two HTML pages, index and page two, and I wanna make a new file. And I'm gonna make a .css file. I'm just gonna call this style.css. Now you can name this file whatever you want. It doesn't have to be named style, but you do need this .css extension at the end of it. So I'll create this file. And now inside of this style.css file, we can just start writing our CSS. And this CSS is gonna look just like the CSS inside of our style tags looked. So I'm actually going to get rid of all of the styling in here. And I'll just get rid of these style tags and I'll get rid of this inline styling. And you'll see now that we just have a sort of bare bones naked website. Inside of this style.css file, we can start defining some style. So let's say maybe the body, we want all of the text to be red. And then maybe we want the header one to have a background color of green, right? Obviously this is just some really basic styling, but what I can actually do is take this CSS file and I can link it to my HTML page. So what I'm effectively doing is just importing all of the CSS code from this .css file into that HTML file. And the HTML file will be able to use all of this to style itself. So over here in this index.html page, I'm just gonna create a link attribute. And this has to be up here inside of these head tags. So I'm gonna create a tag called link. And I'm gonna type rel, and rel is gonna be equal to style sheet because we're importing a, or we're linking to a CSS style sheet. And then I can just type href. And the href is basically just gonna be the location of the style sheet. In my case, this style sheet is stored in the same directory as this index.html file, so I can just refer to the style sheet by its name. But if it's not in the same directory as your HTML file, you're gonna have to use either an absolute path or you're gonna have to use a relative path. So I'm just gonna say style.css, and what this should do is it should take all of the CSS inside of this style file and it should apply it to this HTML. So when I refresh the page, you see that's exactly what happened. And if I ever wanted to change any of this CSS, so maybe instead of red, we can make this blue, all those changes will automatically take effect in the HTML file because the two files are linked together. Now, what's really cool about using external style sheets is I can take this line of code right here, I can take this link tag and I can copy it into my other HTML file over here. So up here in the head of this file, I'll paste this link tag. And now I'll go over to this, this is page two. So this is this HTML file I have open here. This is gonna use the same exact style as that first page. So when I refresh this page, you'll see it's using the same style. So these two things look exactly alike. And if I make a change inside of here, so for example, if I change the background color to yellow, now that change is gonna get updated across all of my pages. So page two is gonna update and the index page is gonna update as well. 
that's what's really cool about these style.css files is you can define like a base repository of all the CSS for your website and then you can just import it into all of the HTML files on that website and then they'll all be using the same exact CSS. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.